Hey everyone, today I am back doing a new video. This video is going to be a tag video. I'm so excited. This tag is called the Beauty Scenario Tag. Um, it's not that long of a tag. It's only like eight questions and as you can tell by the title of the tag, it has to do with like beauty scenarios. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So if you want to see my answers to this beauty scenario tag, then just keep on watching. So the first question is, you have to get rid of all of your foundations and you can only keep one high-end product and one drugstore. Which do you keep? I only have used like a couple different foundations. I don't own any or I haven't even tried any high-end um, foundations so I can't answer that. And for the drugstore one, the one that I really really liked is the CoverGirl one. Okay, I just looked up the name of it. It's the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only one, or I've used one other one and that's pretty much it. So I would have to choose that one because I definitely like that better than the one that I am currently using. But, um, yeah, when it comes to foundations and concealers, I'm getting really interested in trying out different ones and I definitely would like to try out some higher end ones because of course on YouTube you hear a lot about some of the higher end foundations and other makeup stuff like that. So um, yeah, I can only keep one drugstore one so it would definitely have to be the CoverGirl foundation. Question number two is you go for an interview and the lady interviewing, interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? I would like to say I would tell her but honestly I don't know if I would just because I don't know I don't really like being in like awkward situations and I don't really know how to handle awkward situations so I would definitely kind of I don't know I uh, I don't know I would probably if it was like really really bad I probably would eventually kind of tell her but I don't know I feel like I would ignore it just because it's just like weird like this person's like giving you a job and it's like yeah you have lipstick on your teeth like I don't know I so I would probably ignore it but then try to kind of let her know I don't know that's kind of a hard question <laughs> question number three is you're not feeling yourself and need a pick-me-up which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful probably like any red lipstick or my um Maybelline Vivid um Brazenberry purple lipstick. I love that lipstick and definitely like red just because red is like a really, you know, sexy kind of color. And of course nudes too. Like nudes are always good to wear too. But um, definitely if I needed something to pick me up, I would definitely want to go for something a little bit more drastic like the purple lipstick or um, like a red lipstick. I think the only red lipstick I have right now or that I use currently is um, Revlon's cherry in the snow cherries in the snow I think it's something like that so definitely a bold color like a purple or a red question number four is you go back in time for a day to your teenage years how would you do your hair and makeup differently well I mean tech I am a teenager still but um I would definitely go back to when I was like 13 14 ish years old because every single day um I think like my freshman year of high school, I would always wear red lipstick and this really blue eyeshadow. And at the time I thought it looked really great, but now that I look back on it, that is just a huge no-no. Like red lipstick and like this really bold, deep blue eyeshadow. Like no, honey, no, I don't think so. And I would always wear like, kind of like, um like a lot of eyeliner too so I just literally looked like a raccoon I looked like a cheap prostitute just with this makeup it just didn't even match it was way too much because honestly I feel like I don't look that great with a ton of makeup on and that is just way too much makeup on not only like that's completely not matching the colors you know definitely I would go back and change that kind of what I do now if I'm going to do a bolder lip I will go easy on the eyes and if I want to do a bold eyeshadow look I'll go easy on the lips just so it kind of balances out you definitely don't want to go bold all over of course there are people out there that can do that and if you can that's great I would go for it but for myself that is just 
no, that's not a good look for me. So I would definitely go back and change that. And for my hair, I wouldn't really change anything different. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really change anything different with my hair. The only thing I would do for my hair is, you know, the usual straightening, straightening, teasing, uh, kind of what I do now. Of course, I don't really tease my hair anymore, but I don't think there's anything wrong with teasing your hair. So for my hair, I wouldn't really go back and change anything. Question number five. You ask your hairdresser for a shul shoulder length pixie lot hair cut, but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave and call your mom hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund. In a perfect world, like in my head, I would probably wanna go with C, like complain to the manager and demand a refund, because like obviously if you ask for like a shoulder length hair and they're gonna completely cut all your hair off, that's ridiculous and that would really piss me off, but honestly, I am just way too nice of a person, like, I'm not trying to like brag about myself, but I'm like literally like too nice. Like I honestly would probably do something more like A, like smile, say thank you, and then call my mom and start crying. Um, that's definitely something I would probably do in the real world. You know what? That did actually happen to me kind of. I mentioned that in my hair journey video where I have like my really long hair. Well, it wasn't too, I didn't think it was really long, but it was really growing fast. And then I went to get, you know, my ends cut off and like my bangs styled and she ended up cutting it really, really short. So I guess I kind of went through that and I didn't really complain about it because it looked good. I was kind of crying on the inside because obviously when you're growing your hair out and you get all your hair cut off, that's kind of a nightmare. But, um, yeah, other than that, I haven't, I guess it's different if I got like a pixie cut because I feel like my face is too bold, round, and you know, chubby chubby cheeks. I would not look good with like a really, really short like pixie cut. So I don't know, I guess it depends like being in that actual situation. I'm not really sure what I would do. <laughs> Question number six, your friend surprises you with a four day city break and you have one hour to pack. Which do it all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? I would probably go with my um, 88 Color BH Cosmetics one. I have the matte, shimmer, and neutral one. I would probably go with the neutral one because um, the, the neutral one kind of has, I wouldn't say like every color, but I think every necessary color because it's obviously neutrals because it's a neutral palette. But it also does have a little dash as a color here and there. So if I wanted to do something a little bit bolder with color, I could definitely use that. Um, compared to like the shimmer and matte ones, those are more colored base instead of neutral base. So I think the neutral one kind of gives you a mix between nudes and also a little bit of color if you wanted to go that route. Question number seven, your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? I would definitely have to go with my, all of my eyeshadow prod, all of my eyeshadow palettes, probably my Urban Decay one, because I don't know, I'm just like totally in love with that and like, you know, it's more high end of a product and it's kind of expensive. I would hate to um, lose that even though I was given it for free, but Still, probably that, just because I really, really cherish that, because that was pretty much the first high-end makeup product I've ever, you know, got um, or received. So, yeah, definitely all my eyeshadow product. All why do I say products? All my eyeshadow palettes, but specifically the Urban Decay um, Vice Two palette. And question number eight: Your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you a just pretend you haven't noticed? B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs. I probably wouldn't do C. I think that's just very immature and stupid, and I wouldn't do that. Because um, no matter what, karma is always going to come back around, if you know what I mean. So, I guess it depends on what it means on awful condition, and I guess it depends on what... Um, makeup they borrowed. I mean, if it's something like cheap, like an eyeliner or maybe like a little tiny cheap eyeshadow thing, I probably wouldn't care that much. But um, kind of to go back to my um, eyeshadow palettes and my Urban Decay Vice 2, if that was in awful condition, I probably, 
I don't know, I might, uh, I just, this kind of goes back to this, I'm just too nice kind of thing. I would definitely want them to do something, or I would definitely talk to them and be like, okay, you know what, this was like $50, $60, and you give it to me like this, like this is unacceptable. Um, so I would probably, I don't know if I would be bold enough to ask them to repurchase it, but I would definitely give them like a good talking to, because that would just be totally ridiculous if it was something like expensive. But um, yeah, this would definitely have to depend on what it is. Alrighty everyone, so that is the beauty scenario tag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think these questions are a lot of fun, so I definitely encourage you guys to do it if you would like. And before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to a few of my new subscribers today. Marion A, or Marion, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Sassy Ann H, Sierra H, Jericho C, Angelo G and I am Rebecca XOXO. I want to say hi to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and watching my videos and supporting me. I really appreciate it and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Okay everyone, so I am going to get going for now. I hope you all again enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.